Welcome to Ben Hello in Hub. Shortly today we'll be looking at how to prevent data consumption in your Windows 11. Now I believe that so many of us might have the issue of you connecting your computer to your data and then before you know it you find out that your data is gone or your data is reduced beyond any form of explanation. Now there are majorly two things that cause this on our Windows 11. I'll be looking at those two things shortly. Now the first one is your Microsoft Store. Now you can head down to your Microsoft Store. Now Microsoft Store is set to update your apps automatically unless you put it off. But by default, it's been set to always update your softwares. So it means once there's an update and you connect to your data, it will start updating even without your consent. So the way to off it is to come to this place. You tap on it. That's your profile. Then you move to your app settings. And then you can see it apps update you make sure you turn it off so you can turn other ones off too like your purchase sign up your offline permissions also your video autoplay now the second one is you head down to your settings and you go down to your windows update now under your windows update you make sure you pause it as you can see here you can pause it for a week for two weeks for three weeks for four weeks i will for five weeks Understand? So you can go for the highest one. For instance, here I can go for five weeks, and then you see that it's being paused until the twenty-first of January, twenty twenty-three. Now, let's say you want to. And one good thing about posting the Windows update is that anytime you want to update your Windows, even if it's not up to the number of weeks you have decided to pause the update, you can always come back here and resume the update. Then after that, you can now go ahead and pause. The update now I advise you because windows update is very very crucial and important because it comes with a lot of security updates and even features update so now I advise you that you make sure you plan your update you can decide to do it once in every month or once in every two weeks but please make sure you update your windows from time to time so that you can have the latest security features and even the latest normal system features so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you and have a good day